You're listening to Paranormal TV Network, and you're tuned in to Haunted Moments, and I am your host, Reverend Dr. Teresa S. Koch. Cullenden Battlefield. The Moore site of the last battle on British soil has its share of ghostly traditions, perhaps befitting for the scene of so much bloodshed and slaughter. The Battle of Cullenden, April 16, 1746, marked the fall of the Jacobite Rebellion of 1745, which sought to restore the Stuart monarchy to the throne. In barely 40 minutes of fighting, the mass army of Bonnie Prince Charles had been slaughtered by government troops, which also contained Scottish clansmen. Led by Prince William, the Duke of Cumberland, the odds were already stacked against them. The boggy, rain-sodden ground of the moor was not suited to the Highland charge. They were vastly outnumbered, and there were, they were very exhausted after a many days' marching back from England, where they had failed to muster the support they badly needed to ensure victory. They had also launched a surprise attack on their foes during the night, which had ended without them even coming into contact with the Duke's men. The battle started with an exchange of artillery that quickly became a one-sided affair, as the Jacobite gunners were vastly outnumbered and outclassed, 20 minutes of constant bombardment decimated the Jacobite lines as they awaited the order to charge. Bonnie Prince Charlie took no part in the battle, and with no leader to sound orders, their hesitations was to play a large part in their defeat. When they finally did charge, taking it under their own initiative, the slaughter continued. Those who did not die in a volley of bullets and gunshots were cut down when they reached the lines. The government troops used a new way of meeting the Highland charge. Each soldier stabbed at the man to the right of those they faced directly so their bayonet would pierce under the man's raised sword arm and avoid the charge. The Highlander's small shields most often held in the left hand. There was no mercy for the wounded soldiers. Many were slaughtered where they had fallen, and those who had managed to flee were hunted down and executed. Bonnie Prince Charlie managed to evade the government forces, and after five months on the run throughout the highlands, escaped to Italy via the Isle of Skye, never to return. There is a tra tradition, they say, of haunted battle sites in Britain and Cullens. Then is no exception to this. Ghostly soldiers are supposed to appear on the anniversary of the battle, on the 16th of April, and the cries of battle and the clash of steel have also been reported to be heard. The specter of one of the Highlanders is also said to frequent this area. He is a tall stature w with drawn features. He is supposed to say defeated in hushed tones when encountered. One woman visiting the moor from Edinburgh in August 1936 lifted a tartan cloth covering one of the mounds which marked the Jacobite graves to discover an apparition of a dead Highlander underneath it. Another tradition attached to these graves mounds is that birds do not sing in their vicinity, perhaps hushed by the ominous atmosphere. There are numerous wells dotted around the area. On the battle site itself, a nearby St. Mary's well is said to be haunted by the ghosts of the dead Highlanders. And a spooty well in Cullenden Wood is festooned with brightly colored rags, offerings from people wishing to be cured of their ailments by those there. You're tuned in to Paranormal TV Network, and you have been listening to Haunted Moments, and I've been your host, Reverend Dr. Teresa F. Koch.